So, how many papers do you bring home at night to grade? Oh, when you do an essay, do you think about how long is it going to take before I actually get to keep to talk to these students about their work? I'm sure it happens to you too. So what you typically do is you mark up, okay, yeah, we need to focus on this. And then you say, all right, when you get a moment, please see me. And then you spend the next day and you, in general, go through the essays. But tracking Sally down to actually see her and talk about why you circled that text, that's another story. Let's talk about how Microsoft OneNote can help you with this. Now, suppose instead of your students printing out their work or doing it by hand and giving it to you on a piece of paper, they do their actual writing in OneNote in a notebook that they share with the teacher. So now what you can do is you can insert audio on top of what you're doing. If you go to the insert menu and pick record audio. Now, as you are writing on the student's notebook, it is recording what you're doing. And the really cool thing about it is it's also keeping track of everything you're saying. So Sally, I want you to think about your topic sentence here and you are missing several of the details that we talked about in class. Then I want you to go back and look at this sentence here. It's a bit short and we're talking about complex sentences. So I want you to think about how you can change that. Now, everything you just did was recorded right inside of Sally's notebook. So Sally opens up the notebook from SharePoint, from uh, her network drive, and she goes in and she sees, oh, not only has the teacher marked up my work, she's also recorded an audio file for me. So I can look and I say, okay, she highlighted this, but I'm not quite sure what she was thinking when she, um, she wrote these lines over here. So see this little arrow next to it? I can click on that, audio, that arrow and it'll play it back for me. Also keeping track of everything you're saying. So Sally, I want you to think about your topic sentence here and you are missing several of the details that we talked about in class. Then I want you to go back. So now that the teacher has recorded, what she was thinking as she was marking up the paper, the student has immediate feedback and understands exactly what the teacher was saying. And if the student doesn't get it, they can certainly record their own audio file and the teacher can check in later to see what they're thinking. Now, suppose Sally has been out of school for a couple of weeks, but she's doing a great job keeping up with her work and she's handing it in via her OneNote notebook. So. Rather than just record your audio and mark up the text, you decide you want to record a little video and let Sally know you're thinking of her. So you hit the record video button and off you go. Once Sally returns to her notebook, she'll see that you recorded a video and you marked up some of the things that are on her page. So she'll start the video and she can just click the video and press the play button. Hi Sally, it's been a long time since you've been in class. We miss you so much and I'm so so impressed that you're keeping up with your work. Now, besides the nice message that the teacher has left her, she sees that there are some details that the, the teacher marked up along the way. So let's see what the teacher was saying here. How you could possibly uh, enlarge upon your main idea in this sentence. You have one uh, uh, detail, but I think you could add about three or four more onto it. So get to work and let me know how it so the teacher has spent some time, gave a little bit of face time to her student and shared her comments on the work. And the student was able to open up the notebook and see her teacher and see and hear the comments that she made. I bet you're going to agree with me that that kind of feedback was much more valuable than a simple piece of paper being handed out at the end of the class that says, see me.